Manny, we're back at your old school, uh, John Cleveland College today. What are your, your memories of rugby, playing rugby for this school a few years ago? Um, you know, a lot of memories, you know, good memories, bad memories, um, playing for, for, for John Cleveland College, but you know, I think my, one of my favourite memories was, to, was for playing for, um, for JC at the, the Twickenham Stadium. Um, first time, you know, we, we came away with a loss in the final. A couple of years after that, we, you know, we fortunately won won the the, the vast. So, um, you know, there's a lot of good memories, you know, being back here. What was it like going to Twickenham for the first time? And it's great that a school's competition can do that for young kids, isn't it? Definitely, you know, it's very excited. Uh, obviously, we went the night before, stayed in a hotel, you know, it was awesome staying in a hotel near near Twickenham and you know just that moment you know you, you know that you're going to be going to be playing in, in the home of rugby. And then when the under 18s cup of course he won the trophy, he scored a try in the final as well didn't you? I think caught a cross field kick is that right and went over in the corner? Yeah um, I remember uh, Oaksy was a fly half at the time um, I think it was, in, it was a few minutes ago and uh, we were still down by a few points so um, yes, yeah, remember a cross field kick, caught it on one bounce and, and, and went under the post, you know, so to, to win the game, you know, that was one of the favourite memories. What was it like playing with your mates and winning with your mates? Yeah, as you say, you know, it was very special, um, playing rugby with, you, with your mates, I think that's the most important thing, you, you, you enjoy it with, with your mates and, you know, we still keep in touch now. If you're a good rugby player and you're in Leicestershire, is this where you come for your sixth form? Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, this is one of the, well, they say it's, it's a science school, but, you know, through the years, it's, it's, it's rugby, really. You always yeah. know from when he came here, he was going to make it. Uh, Not to the I top, think, we knew he was going to play for Leicester. And I think the pedigree was there, you know, the family and everything. You knew that he was uh, got a good shot at it. Uh, when you were 15, it wasn't obvious, I don't think. I mean, he's a big lad. There's still a lot of work to do. There was, but I th even at 16, at year 11, uh, the muscles started coming on and he started really making a big impact. Uh, I remember a few games there against much older opposition where he just took them out, you know, much older, bigger lads, and the physicality was there, and it was clear he was going to do pretty well. Did you ever think when you were playing on this pitch, I don't know, five, five years, six years ago, that you'd be where you are today, 22 years old and, you know, playing for England, playing for the Lions? <laughs> no, not really. Uh, just running around here, uh, training, rainy days. You know, I never thought you were going to be be playing. Obviously, that was the dream: is to play for for Leicester and then you know England, and you know to play for for the Lions is um, it's a massive achievement for me and an honour. Uh, inspires, I think, a lot of people as well in the school to to carry on playing rugby. And that's part of the reason why we've got the boys who want to carry on playing rugby yeah. at the school. So uh, it's yeah. great to have you. Hey, Brooks, hey, you know, all the guys like Roundtree and Dino, when I first came in to look at the school and I saw the picture of them guys on the, on the wall, I think that inspired me straight away. You know, I think that set the bar as well. You know, if you come to school like, like John Cleveland College, Ingston, it's just you need to, to, be, to be good. If they can do it from this school, there's no reason why you can't do it as well. Yeah. You've just been training a bit with the kids. Have you seen any the next Manu Tuolangis or the next Ryan Bauer, something like that? Oh, loads of them. You know, they're all in Hinkley. <laughs> um, you know, the kids are great, you know, enjoying it. Um, you know, they look pretty good, actually. You know, this age, you know, they, they said it's going to be a, a good year for them. So hopefully it'll, be, it'll go well. I think Ryan Bauer's little brother's in down here somewhere. I think we've done 15s. So have you come across yeah. him yet? Yeah, Bowser's, yeah, I just saw him. I just played with him now. Um, it's been a big hit on me, so <laughs> that's been good.